One of the nine passengers stranded is already back in the U.S. Her daughter spoke with ABC 15's Joelle Vasquez about the hoops she actually had to jump through in order to bring her mother home, as well as the treatment she's now undergoing following her trip. He joins us now live in the studio. Joelle? Andrew, 80-year-old Julia Lenkoff is a seasoned traveler. She's been to nearly 120 countries, speaks 10 languages, and often travels by herself. Now, it's important to note that Julia was on a Norwegian-sponsored tour, a different one from the rest of the group, when she had a medical emergency. Her daughter tells me that's when she says Norwegian dropped the ball. I didn't know how much she was looking forward to this trip, and, and it was so exciting for her. And here she was on day eight, and I just felt really bad for her. Julia Lenkoff's daughter, Lana, recounts the moment that she found out her mother had experienced a medical emergency in another country, thousands of miles away. Lana says her mother was sent to a hospital in Sao Tome and released the next day. Eight other stranded passengers, including Garden City couple Jill and Jay Campbell, met Julia after she was released and took care of her. When Jill said she's got some confusion, that freaked me out. Julia felt dizzy, couldn't feel the right side of her body, and at one point, when people spoke to her, she responded in French. She doesn't speak French on a regular basis. It's not something that, you know, so that's, these are all signs of brain injury. According to a statement from Norwegian Cruise Line, Julia was medically disembarked after their onboard medical team decided it was best that she was treated at a local hospital. It continues by saying, quote, as the guest was released from the hospital and in a coherent state, our protocol is to contact the guest directly, as we would not have the authority to share any medical information with anyone else without their express consent. They released her from the hospital. They couldn't contact me because um, they don't contact the next of kin while the other person is um, perfectly fine. But from what Lana saw, her mother was not fine. She says that she and her husband worked for 36 hours straight to get Julia back to the U.S. They arranged for her to fly from Sao Tome to Lisbon to Toronto and then San Francisco, where she was immediately transported to Stanford Medical Center for treatment. We said we thought she had a small stroke and the doctor said, well, I wouldn't say it was a small stroke. I would say you had a pretty significant stroke. Julia has been in the hospital since Monday and has gone through a number of tests. But Lana says that she still hasn't heard from Norwegian cruise line. I've not had a verbal conversation with anybody from Norwegian and they know who I am. Yeah. Now I've reached back out to Norwegian Cruise Line for a comment. I'm still waiting to hear back as well. Alana tells me that her mom had a second stroke last night, but it was milder and she's doing okay. Andrew. Joel, thank you. We have been following this story since we first heard about it last week. To learn more about the other stranded passengers, including that couple from Garden City, you can look for this story over, right, over on WPD.com right now.